Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate that. Now, this particular blog, I have to say this before we get started. It's almost like Rex was reading my mind <laughs> because I just mentioned this maybe a day or so. And, you know, though it's not the entire list, I'm sure, but I mentioned to Rex, I said, hey, man, I would love and I think I mentioned to him. I know I said it to Smitty, but maybe I didn't mention it to him. But either way. I said I would love to see a list of all of the legacy issues that were addressed. And now that I think about it, I don't think I did say it to Rex. I said it to Smitty. So Rex, I'm sure you're going to see this video. This would be great if we could get a list of those things, even if it's not as detailed as this blog, because, you know, I know that takes time. But if we could just get a list of things that were actually done. But if not, let's appreciate what we have here. So anyway, guys, in this blog, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these things. And again, um, I don't know if I said this already, but Smitty and I will definitely be talking about these things tonight on Sim Standard Radio. Come hang out with us, guys, um, here on my channel at 8 p.m. Eastern. Got a lot to talk about tonight. But here it is. It says Madden Mechanics Community Request Addressed It. All right. So basically here, we're going to read the opening part. It says Madden NFL 18 delivers many new features. There's long shot game styles, coaching adjustments, and target passing, to name a few. But along with all of these features, we also wanted to improve the game on all fronts. With that, here's a list of some, again, some, of the Madden community's most requested tweaks and how they have improved. Now, I think that's very important that they're telling us how they have improved. So I'm just going to read to you the bullet points and maybe I'll pick a couple of these and we'll go in and look at them in, in detail. And again, like I said, tonight we're going to discuss it. You have off ball injuries, which is something we hadn't had in, in recent years. Ball hawk skill mechanic, hit stick skill mechanic, ball carrier special moves, dropped interceptions, the swerve. We all know about the swerve. <laughs> we saw it heavily in the, uh, the Madden challenges. Curl flat zones, fumble recovery. Use a control linebackers. We're going to look at that one. Rack drops, hard flat zones, AI defenders SWAT versus interception. We may look at that one. Directional control of rack catches. Size and weight factor. Y'all know we're looking at that one. OT and play now game. Low rated QB accuracy. Another good one. Defense and practice mode. Great. Slower players catching faster players. We know that was an issue. Position specific defensive hot routes. We're going to look at that. Defensive hot route key by position. That's interesting as well. And it breaks down, you know, who is who. And that's pretty much it in terms of this blog. Now, let's go back and take a look at the ones I said that were hot topics. We'll do that real quick and then we'll be out of here. Off ball injury. So, when playing simulation, players not directly involved in the tackle can be injured. This includes offensive and defensive linemen. You'll want to stay on top of the injury report. When an off-ball injury occurs, you won't see an injury animation on the field. But it says the only injury notification under the scoreboard. So I wanted to address that. It says, you know, you won't see an injury animation on the field, which we got to get to that point. It has to get to that point. We've seen games in the past do that. I think Madden did that in the past. But I know I've seen all pro football do that, where a guy has something wrong with his leg. He's gampy a little bit. But if I'm not mistaken, prior Maddens did that. Now, you know, I got to knock him a little bit for not having that. But that's something that we should be able to get going forward. So we're going to have to press for that one. So it says the only injury notification will be under the scoreboard. In some cases, you may see the injury notification after the play. But before the sideline can report on the severity of the injury, the player may have already returned to the game. OK, so that's how that works. Let's look at the other one. Ball carrier special moves. Every one of the ball carrier special moves, such as juke, spin, and hurdle, has been updated in Madden 18. The moves are faster and more efficient. The moves are also less uh, punitive in terms of fumble chances, and most importantly, user control players on defense can now be faked out as effectively as an AI controlled player, especially when attempting a hit stick. That's interesting. Gonna be, you know, very interested to see how that works. We pretty much know how to drop interceptions and things like that work. 
What about the swerve? Y'all, we all know it. Since last year, an exploit was uncovered that allowed receivers to swerve defenders out of position to play the ball. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say the kid's name. I'm not gonna disrespect him like that, but we all know who that guy was that basically almost swerved his way to the top. The team has fixed several assignment and positioning issues to ensure that this tactic is no longer effective. Defenders will play the ball effectively instead of locking into the receiver. Now, the challenge for us out here is we're gonna have to test that. So we definitely have to test that. Shout outs to my guy, Relly, Madden Universe. Some of you guys may know him by that. He says it is gone. So if he says it's gone, I believe it's gone. Now the curl flat zones and also I will read the hard flat zones and of course the user controlled LBs. A big legacy issue we focused on was fumble, oh, I'm reading the wrong one. Curl flat zones. Another top community request was curl flat purple zones. Curl flats would crash to the flats and leave deeper routes open down the field or down the sideline. We implemented a new rule called no cover zone, where underneath defenders won't jump routes five yards and under. Hmm, that's very interesting. All right, now actually let, let's read the fumble recovery. A big legacy issue we focused on was fumble recoveries. We eliminated the extended piles where nobody can recover the ball. You will see much faster reactions to the ball on the ground and players have an improved ability to grab the ball when it gets close to their hands. Great. The user controlled LBs. Users controlling a linebacker were able to take away most routes over the middle of the field in the past. We all know that. Shout out to my boy Azu Effect. This is one of the things that drove him up the wall. We made some alterations to defender run curves and turn rates to ensure that only elite defenders are capable of making these type of plays, as they should. Um, not trying to be a homer here, but a guy like Ryan Shazier, I mean, a, a dude that runs a 4-3-40, he should probably, I ain't gonna say make those plays, but he should be able to have the capability to do it in the right scenario, where another linebacker may not be able to do that. So, it, you know, I, I don't have a problem with guys who have elite capabilities and speed and coverage possibly being able to do some of these things and you're able to see the difference when they don't i'm cool with that lower rated defenders will not be able to take away the middle of the field as effectively great uh, no complaint there hard flats the community stated that they wanted hard flats to play the flats more aggressively we did some work on their logic so they do a better job of reading the route progression and taking away throws to the flats cool uh, what other one we're going to read? Okay, I think we'll read the defenders versus the SWAT and the interception and size and weight. And then we'll get to the posi uh, position defensive hot routes because this is a lot. And I, Sorry, guys, if the video is taking long, but I guess you guys are into this information. So let's continue. Another top com uh, competitive community request was to remove outcomes where defenders were SWAT down what would have been an easy interception and not only in the competitive community i felt the same way playing cfm on competitive only defenders will now always go for the interception on an open read on the ball now that's cool for them but we'll have to wait to see if, if guys are playing on simulation like myself how that's going to play out is it going to be just like it is in 17 or will it be better logic there so that's something to keep in mind Size and weight factor. Here we go. The formula used to determine the outcomes of hit sticks and impact blocks will now use weight and momentum of the players involved in the interaction. You will see far less instances of smaller players successfully landing a hit stick on a bigger ball carrier or wide receiver impact block on bigger linebackers, especially when not moving with enough speed to make a big hit. That is outstanding. We need way more size and weight to be a factor. Now, you know I'm gonna step outside of the box real quick from this comp from this uh, notation here. Now we gotta add that in the trenches, Madden. The, the trenches need to follow that same principle. I'm just saying, but this is a good sign. All right, now, obviously we know what the low rated quarterback accuracy will be. They kind of talked about that already in a blog. Uh, now let's go down to position specific defensive hot routes. The hot routes available for defenders at the line of scrimmage are now positioned specific to each player on the field. Users should now see defensive hot routes that make sense for the position they are hot routing. Love that. This change provides a variety of new tools 
they can use to adjust their defenders when at the line of scrimmage. A breakdown of the new defensive hot routes on a per position basis is shown directly below. It says, note, if a safety is subbed in via formation package or formation sub to an outside cornerback position, he will get the outside cornerback hot route set. Cool with that. If by alignment, an outside cornerback was to align inside over a slot receiver, he is considered a slot DB. Therefore, he'll get the slot defensive back hot route set. Love that. And, and I, I, I'll let you guys in on a little secret, man. When I was down at EA early in the year, there were a couple competitive guys that, that really pushed for this one. Um, I'm not going to say names because I don't know if these guys even want to get the credit like that. But a couple of the top guys that were there were saying, listen, man, that's not how it's played. Um, shout outs to A-Dub, Anthony White, as you guys would know him as. He said the same thing. You know, there's certain times, there's certain people you never should be able to put in a certain hot route because it's just not going to be covered that way in the secondary. So it, to me, I love this. This is more of a real world scenario. So I always love when real world football principles make the cut. I'm cool with that. So here it is, guys. It says the defensive hot route key by position. And you can take a look there. Here's the outside linebacker. Slot corner, deep half safety, deep middle safety, inside linebacker, outside linebacker, and four-man line DN. So that's mostly a nickel package type situation. I'm familiar with that with the Pittsburgh Steelers. A lot of times they got two inside tackles, and you got linebackers on the outside, a Bud Dupree and probably a TJ Watt this year. And then you have defensive tackles and three-man line. So cool stuff right there man but like i said you know this is just some i would love for them to be able to put some type of list together to show all of because remember rex said about 40 legacy issues this doesn't appear to be that many so if they can't cool but i would love to see some type of list that we can at least reference and say oh okay that was fixed also all right so there you have it man i don't really have much else to say on that Read the blog for yourself. I will put a link in the description. And before we get out of here, y'all know the routine, man. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Become a part of the home team. I got a whole lot of content coming. Sure you will enjoy yourself there. If you're already a subscriber or if you're a recent subscriber, make sure you cut on your notifications so you know when a video is dropping. And last but not least, I promise it will never hurt you to hit that like button. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.